sharing two real life stories. The first is about a lady called Fatma. Now Fatma is an avid book reader and she also works full time. But increasingly given her professional and social commitments, she's hardly getting any time to go out to bookstores and look for the books that she'd like to buy. Also, books, space and book storage is an issue. Her mother is always on the case to clear out the bookshelves in the room of all the books that she's collected over the years. Second uh, story is about a gentleman called Faru. Now, Faru is the owner of a huge bookstore in the city. Uh, despite being one of the largest book importers and wholesalers, not many people know about him. And he has to depend on a small but loyal base of customers and other bookstores that he sells to. Now, the relevance of these two stories is this is where Kitabe.com comes in to solve the problems. And uh, let me explain now. Kitabe.com is an online books marketplace. So we've developed a centralized platform for uh, independent bookstores and individual booksellers to make their collections available to potentially everyone in Pakistan. So for Mr. Farooq, he's been able to upload all his inventory, which is available to all buyers across Pakistan and not just people who come to his store. It's all also a place for buyers to uh, come in and browse for books across numerous categories put up by many, many bookstores or uh, private sellers all in one place. So this solves Fatima's problem. And in our case, Fatima has also been able to sell her books and use that money to buy even more books. So that is how uh, this concept is self The main question that might come up, come up is why would Mr. Farooq or someone like him go through the arduous task of cataloging the thousands of books that he has? You know, I guess that was the key, key uh, challenge that we faced. We uh, showed them the light so to say, to Mr. Farooq and all such bookstores and thankfully they listened. And I think the key innovation that we made which made it possible was that our entire cataloging process is a totally automated system. Simple ISBN number uploads everything. So uh, I'll just go through the numbers and show you how this has helped. What we also did was we realized that some of these bookstores are not very technologically savvy. So we gave them the tools, we gave them PCs, we gave them Vimax USBs to get them going on this process. As for the uh, buyer side, payments are always an issue. So what we did, again, we set up easy pesa mobile accounts, especially for people outside Karachi. So that has really helped sales uh, to other cities. The result of uh, these efforts have been that in just under two months, we have more than 13,000 books available on our website. We launched uh, end of April. We've paid out a total of more than 50,000 rupees to two of our major booksellers who are local uh, Karachi based. And uh, as I said, uh, the system has allowed us to send books all over Pakistan. We had buyers in Gujarawala, Islamabad, Lahore, Kuwait, and obviously all over Karachi. And obviously coming to the most important question, how do we sustain it? Uh, we charge a fixed commission on sale of each book. So that has been generating revenues for, for us from day one. We also charge separately for shipping to cover those expenses because shipping to other cities is a difficult and expensive proposition. Here we manage via couriers, but we still do charge for shipping for every book that we ship. Obviously we give incentives on that, but we have a system in place to cover those costs. So I guess that is the basic idea and the product, uh, Kitabe.com, we've been serviced for two months. This is a follow-up to the Reader's Club that we started, uh, our book rental service, and this was an offshoot of people asking us to for a way to purchase books from us. So this is how we put quite a few ideas together and came up with Kitabe.com. What's your traffic? Uh, traffic we getting at least about 50 to 60 unique visitors every day. And uh, the most interesting aspect of it is it's from cities that you would probably not see on a Google Analytics page. And I'm most happy about making and sending out books to these places because the common complaint that these uh, people have is even though we want to read, there are not even bookstores in our city to look for books. So at least by doing this, they have a centralized place where they might not find what they're looking for all the time, but at least they have a very, very broad selection to choose. You are working only as an intermediary or they buy from you and you buy? No, uh, what this has allowed us to do is since uh, we have not invested in books, we've gone out to booksellers and they are the ones putting up their uh, entire inventory. So as of right now, we sold like in the past week we sold 200 books.